What's up guys, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna talk about two things that are critical to increasing speed in the rotational shot put. So let's check it out. Okay guys, so in today's video, we're talking about two things and two big reasons why you can't create speed. One of the things that we get DM'd a lot on social media, either on YouTube or on Instagram, is that we get asked how do i how do i increase speed what are some of the things i can do well there's two things that you really have to understand is that we want to look at the throw simple now remember inside our system we use what we refer to as the throwing chain reaction system and we teach the six pillars of the throw so what we have is our setup which is really critical because what are we doing when we set up we're setting up the entry the entry is what we refer to as pillar two setting up maximum power and pillar three three, we're gonna be dropping into the throw and applying speed. Now, that motion there from pillar two to three, this is a speed element. So pillar three is what we refer to in our system as dropping in and applying speed. Now, how do you do that? You have to move around an axis. So the first thing we're gonna do, when we set up, we set up pillar one. Pillar one is what we would call the start of the, set up the chain reaction, and we have five distinct goals that we're trying to do whereas a lot of people think we just go we start the wine and we start moving there's more to it than that and that's something we talk about in depth inside the system but today again what are we talking about speed how do we create speed and we're going to be getting on balance and we're going to be moving around an axis this is the reason why you can't create speed in your throw if this is off you're wasting time so one of the things we're going to do is understand that when we go from pillar two to three and we move around this axis now we're going to be moving this is pillar three once i'm in the air that's pillar four then this is pillar five so this is the point of the second rotational axis we have to point up from the ankle up through here again you're going to notice this line and we're going to move through now inside our system we have all kinds of drills that train this motion but if you don't understand the objective of how to get into this position or these are the positions you're trying to move through it doesn't matter what you're trying to do so we have in the point of this video today is to help you understand how do we stay moving around the first axis and the second axis so we have pillar two to three we move in we're here notice the line notice where everything's at now when I come into the throw I'm gonna be setting up the second rotational axis and I'm gonna be moving through the throw so I can finish and create speed if you're off balance the common things are they people don't move around this axis we have a video called the holy grail somewhere you can link it up here on youtube and the holy grail talks about this pillar two three entry now we talk about this in great detail inside the system now why is this generally pretty simple to understand versus why is it hard to execute because it's an unnatural movement and it takes time and you have to understand what piece of that movement you may be doing wrong again that's another thing we deal with inside our throwing chain reaction system we're gonna have a drill to pinpoint the need of the athlete so again for coaches out there the point of our system and the point of what we're trying to do here is to have you understand what you need to do but how you find it that's going to be the key that really unlocks it because here's the main thing that needs to be done is moving around axis one moving around axis two in and staying generally pretty vertical so how do we do that when we have all these different things well when we're in the rotational shot we're going to be here notice the position of the hips and the shoulders if we take a look at any of our pros you're going to see that that's kind of a common thing whether it's Darlin Romani or Tom Walsh or Ryan Krauser or Joe Kovacs you're gonna see that you're gonna see that more or less everything's coming down and you're gonna see this kind of universal position where these guys are here they're all long and they're all gonna be striking because they move around the entry axis and they move around the middle axis which is the we call it pillar four to five right so if you are having problems with speed the first thing you want to do is look at your videos and see are you falling in do you see your hips falling back do you see the shoulders opening up these are going to be the telltales that you are not understanding how to move around that axis if you'd like more information on how to get to those solutions and really dig deep to pinpoint your specific thing check out the link in the description for the throwing chain reaction system 5.0 um, and be sure to check our channel subscribe and all that good stuff to see more videos and information so we hope this helps and we will see you on the next video